Hi again. Um, I left off with my trip to Iceland, which I would highly recommend. It was phenomenal. I had a great time. I showed up to Norway uh, in Oslo Airport, and I still had 1,500 Icelandic kroner, which seems like a lot, but it's really not. I had a couple, you know, I had like two, three bucks in American money, and I went to the exchange, and I said, would, uh, I'd like to exchange this Icelandic kroner for a Norwegian kroner, and she said, we don't do that. I said, but it says exchange on the sign. You exchange currency? She said, yes. I said, well, I have a couple bucks in American money. Would you exchange that? No. I said, do you want my watch? And she didn't, she, she didn't get it. And uh, apparently being staffed is not, um, really doesn't build up international relations. Uh, I really should not have said that in that tone. Um, but whatever, I'm never going to see her again. So <laughs> I said, well, um, what do you take? And she said, oh, nothing that you have, go to an ATM. All right. So I went to ATM and got 200 kroner. Went to the bus stop, and it's 280 kroner to get on the bus. And I'm thinking, great, I'm stuck. I'm going to live in the Oslo airport. I'm freaking out a little bit. I finally get to, uh, um, I call Colin at ACN, who is the, it's kind of like the resident hall supervisor, RHD, a resident, everything. We talk to Colin. And uh, I said, I'm stuck at Oslo Airport. I called using my international cell phone that I purchased beforehand, which is a godsend. I love this cell phone. And I said, I'm stuck at the airport. Um, what, what, what do I do? What, any recommendations? He said, see if they'll take a student visa or student ID. I said, I don't have the international or the, the ISIC ID. It's the acronym. I don't even know what it stands for, but it's pretty much to get you discounts on bus and train, and a lot of different travel um, costs and such. He said, well, try it. See if they'll, see if they'll ask for it or whatever. Just try it. And call me later. I said, all right, fine. I, said, I'll, I will do that, regardless of whatever happens, because he's supposed to be picking me up at the bus stop in Moss. So I get to I get to the bus, and he, the bus driver said, student ID, student? And he says, oh, okay, didn't even ask for the ID. So I had this mini freak out for nothing. And so it was 135 kroner. I can do this. So I get on the bus, get dropped off at Moss. Colin's there to pick me up. We go right to the school. I get my stuff into the apartment. And the, the apartment is decorated wonderfully. It's, it's, so, it's so European. The, there's the lower ceilings. You can see the, the beams on the ceiling, the... It's, just, it's so, so decorated. It's very homey, very comfortable, and it was really, really nice. Um, the, uh, and they stopped my fridge. Oh, my gosh. This is, this is how I know I'm home. This is how I have my people. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay, so this is how I know that these are my people, and I'm loved. They bring, they stopped not only my fridge with some food, they brought fruits in the fruit basket, there's bread, and um, they brought other type of like uh, food and, and items there. But they gave me a little chocolate. Bar. Well, it's not little; it's more like king size uh, chocolate bar. There's a there was another one, but I ate it. <laughs> so if you know what Fear Clover is, it's chocolate with hazelnuts. That's the second candy bar that they gave me, but I ate it, and it was delicious. And so I go to the school and I start meeting people and, and matching the faces with the names and such. The next day I wake up and there's kind of a student orientation that starts at 12 and I get there at 1. Because <laughs> um, I'm not a student. I don't have to be there right then and there, right? So I get there and I'm meeting other students and everybody's asking, where are you from? What do you plan on doing? And just having a great discussion. We had pizza. Um, I, there's something called kebab, a meat, seasoned meat on pizza. They had French fries on their pizza. Oh my gosh. This blows my mind. Rhombus, okay, Rhombus guys, you're still the best pizza I've ever had. The best food I've ever put in my mouth. But this pizza is it's like pretty much drunk food. Imagine if you if you had had a few too many and you got hungry and you ordered pizza. This is the pizza you would have. The sauce, there's steak, and a little bit of steak on it, and French fries or crinkle cut fries on this pizza. Oh my gosh. It was delicious. It was delicious. And one of the best of it, the students, they, the, my, my students, they, they offered me a place. They're like, here, we're not going to eat the rest of it. Eat it. So, 
Tim is really nice. Sharing is caring, and the Norwegians were the ones that made that rule um, because they share so much. Uh, since I've got, since I've shown up, they, they've been sharing so much with me, and uh, not just information, but just you know stuff, uh, which is really cool. Um, so I'm there until like 10 o'clock at night, and this is something that's really odd. That at the time I was so pissed off. But it's just something that I just need to tell you about. This is a very interesting uh, conversation. There was one individual who said, Americans are just stupid. Americans are just stupid. Well, okay, why would you say that in front of an American? That's stupid. Okay? You don't, if you're trying to build up a relationship with a colleague or a student or with somebody who you are going to be seeing for the next eight, 16 to 18 weeks, you don't say stupid shit like that. Okay? And I'm sorry if you get offended easily by a curse word. Sorry, that's your problem, not mine. I was so completely pissed off at this. And I said, I kind of joked, I was, and I said, oh my gosh, that's an awful thing to say. I feel like I was shit on a little bit. Ha <laughs> ha. Because this was in front of other students and, and another uh, individual who's affiliated with the school. And this person said, I don't care. And proceeded to talk. And I, that was just a really rude thing to say. And... Um, so I went home, and I was just stewing about this, just just irritated with this. Um, but I decided to just let it go because I didn't know. I don't want to be that type of person to just angry and and react right away. Because um, I'm I'm the newbie. I'm on their turf, and I don't know what is socially acceptable when it comes to disagreeing with somebody or saying something that, you know, explaining that you have offended me in your speech. In what you've said, especially when I, everybody here knows it's not true, and I don't know why you just said that. And so the next day, there's a garage sale, and they're they're selling some stuff for uh, student activities, and um, I I get some uh, really cool items for my apartment here. Meet with a few more students, and uh, uh, come back and start doing my class plans. And then on Sunday, we did this um, activity where. The, um, there was paintballing, and it's really unusual because I was the only instructor, and I thought, I'm, I, I felt really weirded out when I was out there um, the very, very first time because I'm thinking, I'm shooting at my students. How many teachers can say, yeah, I shot paintballing at my students? Hmm. Um, but then I thought, wait a minute, they're shooting back, so we're even, we're good, it's all good. Um, there was a bungee cord accident when students had... Um, it's uh, where you strap yourself in. It's kind of this inflatable, bouncy, not really cage, but um, open, that bouncy type uh, thing. And you strap a belt to your waist, and you run as hard as fast as you can. And then as soon as you get to the, the end of the stress point, it kind of flings you back, which is really, really funny to see the first few times that it happened. But this kid, they, they strap him in, and he does it a couple times, Well, then one piece broke. And he goes flying into this barn door. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, he has a cracked head. He's going to get sued. We didn't sign any waivers. Oh my gosh, this kid is going to get hurt. He has a little bit of a bloody lip. And, and of course, he's like, shit happens. And that's the type of the, that, that really is kind of what's going on in Norway is shit happens. There's no lawsuits. People aren't so happy. People, if you, I mean, they don't even post, post up signs all the time when they're mopping the floors, caution, wet floor. Because if you see that the floor is wet, you should automatically be cautious, you moron. <laughs> okay, not really say you moron, but they, it's kind of the same thing where it's just kind of a, just very logical. The school was broken into. Um, and apparently there's these um, drug addicts who go snooping around looking for money. They, don't, they didn't steal the computer, they didn't steal the keyboard, they didn't steal the electronics, they just stole the cash box. That's all they were after was money. And so there's even nice drug addicts. As weird as it is to say that, there's, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, are they going to mug me for whatever they want, just so they can pawn it and get drugs and stuff? They, it, they're like, no, no, that's not what it's, it's about. I said, so if I get attacked in my apartment, am I going to, you know, because Britain doesn't have the self-defense laws, am I going to get, you know, am I going to be in huge trouble for fighting back? And I'm like, no. And the Norwegian laws make sense. If it makes sense, if you can justify why you did what you did, and if it makes sense, they're all about rehabilitation. They're not about, you know, just throwing people in prison and throwing away the key. They're not, it, it, that 
aspect of the culture is very different. It is something that I'm just trying to wrap my head around. Um, I, it's neither bad nor worse. It's just it is what it, what it is. Um, so after that happened, it was really it, it just threw me for a loop that nobody there's there's no lawsuit or not as much lawsuits just because this, you need to be really really negligent and, and really trying to hurt somebody in order to be sued. Um, so to, this week was the first week of classes. Um, Today is Thursday the 25th. Um, I realized that I was going to get digital copies for the movies for my intro to film class. And turns out the, there's no Netflix. I can't access my Netflix. I can't go to CBS.com and watch a past episodes of Craig Ferguson. I have to go to YouTube and find the, somebody who has illegally downloaded or illegally videotaped or somehow come, uh, has a copy of Craig Ferguson to watch on YouTube. Because it's not available in the area. Norway has different uh, laws when it comes to copyrights and stuff, which I'm finding out is very interesting that you can download. People have already seen Game of Thrones and Boardwalk Empire and a bunch of stuff. And renting a movie is also very expensive. Very few people have DVD collections or just video collections. And um, it's just really unusual to see that. So I'm running across a few issues of trying to get copies of movies and stuff. I don't want to download them. I don't want to, I don't want to clog up my computer. I don't want to deal with that. I'm not very techie minded, so if something went wrong, I'd be screwed. I, there's no best buy. Where am I going to take my computer? You know? So, that's interesting. Um, yeah. That's about all I have for right now. So, I guess I shall, if you guys have any questions as to what's uh, any other about the culture or whatnot, I will do my best to investigate. Or if you just ask for a personal opinion or whatnot, just let me know what uh, you would like to know, and I will do my best to report back to you. And um, I, I Skype called, I, I got one Skype call from Chanel, my friend back in uh, Grand Forks, and it was so nice to hear her voice. It was so nice to have that relation back to somebody back home. It was really nice to have that. So if any of you guys catch me on Skype, give me a call. I would love to hear from you. I'm getting to that point where I'm a little bit homesick right now. So um, definitely give me a call or email or something so I can keep in contact with you guys. And, um, yeah, it really means a lot to have that those Skype calls. So I shall um, be posting another video soon. Okay. Bye.